chopper two above a surreal sight on this quiet residential street. This truck plowed through a guardrail, slammed through trees, and finally came to a stop in the driveway of a family home just short of a neighbor's playground. Well, it's very frightening. The truck's engine in bits and pieces, the driver's belongings spilling out onto the grass. Officials have identified him as 54 year old Eduardo Martinez of Texas, taken to Westchester Medical Center with minor injuries. The driver actually was able to walk away and get on the stretcher. This gentleman is very extremely lucky. Uh, if he had left the roadway 10, 15 yards back, he would have probably went down on a bankment, and we may have had a different outcome. Investigators saying it's a miracle no one else was hurt. They tell us he appeared to be going eastbound on I-287 and trying to get onto exit 12 toward I-95 around 6 this morning. It was um, delivering, I guess, candy somewhere. There's a load of gummy bears that are on the uh, and Swedish fish that are on the truck. It's unclear what caused Martinez to come flying off the highway, but New York State Police say initial reports show he may have been going too fast around a curve. The trucks are oftentimes going very fast, and there are a lot of them. I think there are some skid marks up on the uh, up on the roadway there. So I mean, potentially, uh, I don't know if there was speed may have been a factor, or maybe have didn't realize how quick the exit was there. As the cleanup continues, people are still in disbelief. Their small town was shaken by such a big surprise. This is the first time since I've been here that we've seen a, a vehicle actually leave the road, leave the highway, and go into someone's yard. Firefighters plus local and state police have spent hours inspecting the truck as the investigation continues. They're also working to empty all of its fuel before towing it away. In Rye, Rena Roy, CBS 2 News.